I'm not sure if you notice that current ESCs are, well, kind of boring. So what modern ESCs are doing, they are not really that much of the experimenting with the new stuff. We have the ESC that, yeah, sure, are 32-bit uh, controllers with fast uh, MOSFETs and the current sensing and the voltage sensing and maybe something like that. All around d shot and uh, can fall back to the different protocols but if you take a look at the hardware there's nothing really that fancy about that some few years ago we kind of settled on what the esc for the rc and fpv should have and we are not really going uh, out of that idea of what the ESC should have at all. This not always was the reality. If you go back in time to 2015-2016, you might, for example, find an examples of the ESCs that were not connected with the PWM, that were not connected via the D-Shot by the way, the serial, the serial protocol. But for example, we had ESCs that were connected via I2C. Yes, it was fully possible to get yourself four ESCs. Uh, each was connected via the I2C bus. Uh, each ESC had a different address on the bus. Uh, so they could be four ESCs connected to a single I2C bus, just like the barometer or the, or the magnetometer. Uh, you install them and ESC was able to talk independently with one in each of those uh, ESCs and it was flyable. Of course, it had a lot of problems because first you had to ensure that each one of the ESCs uh, you connected had a different address, a different I2C address of the device, and then there were problems with identification, which was in which one, setting up the order. This was all very complicated, but it was possible. Some time ago, I saw some examples of ESCs connected via SPI bus. Which kind of also makes sense because SPI is so fast, it's fully possible for the SPI bus to have four devices or even more devices connected to the one SPI bus. And then only by the device select line, you select which one of the ESC the flight controller is talking to right now. You have the reliability of the SPI, you have the super high speed of the SPI, bidirectional communication out of the box. You do not have to fight with those uh, pesky D shot protocols and the DMA conflicts because you just connect to one of the SPI buses on your flight controller. Everything works out the box. Uh, but one more time, it turned out that, well, maybe this is not the best idea because uh, it's not really simpler. You have to have more cables going to the ESC because SPI bus is too uh, miso mossy plus the S select uh, line for the ESC. So plus ground and you have like four wires going to one ESC. Then uh, there were also ESC that you just were connecting for the to the serial port. Honestly, just serial port, connect to the flight controller and everything works uh, perfectly. <laughs> One more time, makes sense, unless you want to have four ESCs or more, but then you have at least four serial ports on your flight controllers. And when we go back to the time of the F1s or F3s, um, then each serial port was so important that sacrificing one, not even saying about four, was basically impossible. So this idea died as well. Then we have at the few years ago, we had an attempt to make the independent uh, ESC by Matek. I even should have somewhere the videos when I showed how this thing works. Serial protocol, uh, but one protocol and one serial port covers all four ESCs at once. Uh, you just connect once you sacrifice one serial port connect to the four in one esc and uh, communication with the four serial ports happens uh, on one serial port kind of interesting uh, there were proto there were prototypes i even have i still have somewhere the prototypes for this uh, for this esc I never really went uh, far from the prototype version because of some of the issues and most probably uh, price and usability was was kind of the course on the concern but but it was an idea on how to make the ESC better. But after we made the ESC better and we reached the current form of the ESC, the evolution has stopped. What was last big change in topics of the ESCs? When the last time the ESC we use in the, for example, for our FPV drones changed? I think that the last time the ESC changed was when we put four independent ESCs on one PDB. We created four-in-ones. After that, there were no 
changes at all. Too bad, because to think about this, I honestly don't think that the current generation of the ESCs is are really the best ESCs we can have. I'm pretty sure we can have better. 